up for sale today is a 48 foot high store. It's 50 feet length overall. It's got a nice large beam. It's 15 foot plus. Down below you have a 50 amp shore power that is auto retractable. So it's power activated. It does have a dinghy davit. And I believe it originally came with a 13 foot whaler. So it's got plenty of space up there for quite a large tender. See nice wide walk arounds. New canvas, Isinglass. Nice side entry. Stripes look to be in good condition. The bottom boot straps and some of the upper ones look like they could be replaced, but other than that, looks nice. It's a nice non-skid locker in there. Um, you don't have to turn sideways to walk around this vessel. It's 48 feet length overall. Actually, sorry, it's 50 feet length overall. It's 48 foot model. Nice chain windlass with clutch so it can drop fast. Comes with side entry stairs. It also has a gangway that rolls with the docks if you're on a floating dock. Got covers for the windshield to keep it cool inside. Sidewalks are really large. Um, your fields are easily accessible. There's your, one of your diesels. The other is on the other side. This boat has 500 gallons of diesel fuel, 250 gallons of water, and 100 gallons holding. So if you wanted to go to the Bahamas, it would be a nice boat for that. Nice doorways that block off the wind when it's cold. This is one of my favorite parts of the boat. It's huge. This is this is home patio set here. <laughs> it's not like your typical outdoor area in a boat. So you could entertain quite a number of people here. It's got a nice walkway to get down to the aft ladder. You got nice grabways at the top while you're underway. Full wet bar with ice maker. That works well. Easy access to the flybridge. So you don't have to go up a ladder, it's just a few steps and you're up. So here you have room for six or eight. Nice center helm. Like I said, the uh, plastic, clear plastic Isinglass has been replaced. You have great visibility throughout. Easy access to your dinghy and your tender through the rear Isinglass. You can almost stand up and go through there. That's very nice. Back at the helm station, you have a full array of gauges, mechanical shifters and throttles, VHF stereo. The electronics does need updating. Uh, we figured the new owner would want to put customize it to their liking so the current owner has chosen not to replace any of the uh, electronics at this time nice large door if you want to close off the upper area uh, to keep out all the cool air if needed We're going to walk down the 
main entry. This boat also has a side entry, as, as you notice when we first was coming onto the boat. Got nice grab handles everywhere. Sorry if I'm shaking. I'm not a videographer. <laughs> nice grab handles at the ceiling while you're underway. It's got a lower helm. Nice large heavy table that bolts to the floor while underway. Large convertible L shaped dinette. Large area to put your television set. They also have some mounts at the ceiling if you wanted to mount it from the, from the ceiling. Someone had a double pipe mounted through the roof, so <laughs> probably one of the old style TVs. Here's your helm area, lower helm area. Very well appointed, it's got everything you could want. Again, electronics are dated and need to be replaced. Um, the owner stated that the autopilot is functional. This is your galley down. Super large dinette. Seat six easily. Almost a full size refrigerator, but the good news is it's 12 volt as well as 110. The dinette is actually electric actuated to make a bed, so there's a button right here that you push. The table goes down by itself. One of my favorite things about this boat is the electrical wiring. I mean, look at that. How everything's laid out. Nice and neat so you can find it. Even has a diagram right here on the door. It tells you where everything is. Any of those that work on their own boats will appreciate that. Moving forward, in a very large guest berth. It also has a door for your guests that come from the front berth or from the dinette. So if you're entertaining, you know, that'd be the bathroom that they would use, or the head they would use. Large hanging lockers. Automatic light switch, which is nice. You got drawers. This bed is at least a queen size. It's got uh, outlets and switches at the head. So if you want to put television up there and put your head this way, you know, watch TV up here, I guess good. It's got a little area for getting ready and a stool that comes out. Another nice locker. Stainless steel port windows. Put some air in. Electric head. This is a wet head in the front. They also have their own air conditioning controls all the controls have been replaced they're new you can access the engine room via these stairs or in the salon underneath the table all the panels open up to give you excellent access so i'm going to open this up
We currently have a battery that's low, so we have that on charge, but the batteries are new. Uh, turns out we had a charger issue. So the new owner will enjoy a brand new charger and new batteries. These are Caterpillar 3208 turboed, 375 horse, low engine hours. They only have 1600 hours. Very large uh, water strainers. Lots of spare parts come with this boat. They even bought gauges ahead of time if you want to replace the gauges, which they look okay right now. The gin set in the back is low hours. It's a Westerbeek. Also has access from the rear stateroom. Camera's gonna get shaky. Hold on. And here's the uh, electrical panel. It's got 12 volt and 10 volt. Labeled very nicely so you see everything. With analog gauges as well. Down to the master stateroom. See another large bed. Walk around, easy to make. More cabinets and storage than you know what to do with. Yeah, this one's huge. You could fit uh, about six six children in there <laughs> if they wanted to play in a cave. <laughs> Storage is not going to be an issue in this boat. Laundry, I believe it needs a handle. Reported to be functional, but the handle is broken. I don't believe the owner used it. It was more of a pleasure vessel, I believe. Tons and tons of storage. I mean, I'm not going to open up every, every door. Large master head, a separate shower. It's even got a little tub in order to fill it up. This stairway also has an entrance to the back portion of the gin set, so you can uh, service it. You bear with me, I'll open it. Nice as that. That's awesome. That concludes our uh, video tour of the 1988 48-foot high star sun deck. Um, beautiful boat, low hours. If you want to go to the Bahamas or use a great loop or just live on it as a floating condo, it'd make a great choice. Thanks for watching. Hope to hear from you soon.